What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, I do want to go ahead and take a quick second out of this video to tell you guys that if you do want to go ahead and see any more different content from this channel, that's not just exclusively YouTube content, by all means, I do go ahead and live stream every single day. So if you guys want to check out my live streams, I do that over on Twitch. The link to that is down in the description of this video. And I also have a Twitter account, which I'm not extremely active on. But if you do want to see me talking, you know, looking at different things that are revolving around different you know, games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, by all means, you can go ahead and give me a follow over on there. Once again, all my links are down in the description of this video. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty positive a lot of you guys might already know exactly what I'm talking about in this video. But today we're going to be discussing the actual player count of Modern Warfare 2 and why a lot of people are actually going ahead and leaving this game. Now, I will say Call of Duty is a game that people will pick up for maybe a month or two. They'll play it a little bit and they're just going to hop, you know, jump ship and go over to a different project. But it hasn't always used to be like this. So to see Call of Duty continuously taking this path, continuously following this pattern year after year after year, where, yeah, it does get a big increase of players day one, but over, you know, month after month after month, it slowly dies down. It's not really the best thing to see as a hardcore Call of Duty fan, especially coming from the 6v6 side of the overall franchise. And like I just said, since the beginning of time, yeah, Call of Duty has been a game where you pick up for a month or two and move on. But down to its core, the hardcore community used to be able to support this game and help it thrive for pretty much the whole year, no matter what the title was. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty 4, or even World at War. A lot of casual people picked up the game and then obviously pushed it aside after a month. But the player count was never completely butchered. Call of Duty always stayed at the top. And these past three years, especially this year right now, like I said, all across the internet, people are talking about it right now with Modern Warfare 2. The player count is just <laughs> dying. Now, I won't say, or I won't go as far as saying that Modern Warfare 2 is dead. Clearly, it's not. It's bringing in, you know, hundreds of thousands of people daily. So clearly, it's not a dead game. But compared to other titles that are equal to its, you know, caliber, its budget, things are just simply not looking very good. And week after week after week, more and more players are leaving the experience. Now, I've seen tons of people out there give their own opinions on why this is happening. You know, a lot of people are saying the game is really bad. You know, Infinity War sucks at making COD games. It's too far gone from being, you know, an original Call of Duty title. I've heard everything, absolutely everything. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I personally enjoy Modern Warfare 2. There are a handful of problems like the minimap, Dead Silence, footstep noise, and also just the speed that you can actually aim with your weapons and stuff after you deck it out with attachments, and also, of course, the minimap. Those are like a handful of issues that I have, but looking past all that stuff, if I have to compare this Call of Duty game from the stuff that we've been getting since Call of Duty Ghost, from at least Infinity Ward exclusively, this is not a half-bad project. But I personally think the main reason why this game is losing so many players and people are moving on to different titles and abandoning Call of Duty is because 6v6 is lacking maps, variety, replayability because of the maps, and it's also lacking support within 6v6. I'm going to be honest. Me, myself as well, like I said, I enjoy this game and I can play it without getting angry, without getting stressed. I casually hop on, like I said, maybe it's just because I have a full six-man party and the lobbies might be a little bit more casual that way. But at the end of the day, you know, I can hop on and just casually play the game, but I can't sit there and play it forever. You know, I'm at a point where maybe I'll hop on for a half an hour and that's about it. And 6v6, I'm not talking about DMZ or Warzone, you know, because I can play DMZ with homies and just casually play for hours, you know. But when I'm talking about the core of COD, what made COD great in the beginning, 6v6, I can only last maybe 30 minutes before the repetitiveness starts to kick in. I mean, if you really think about it, despite if you enjoy or hate the maps in Modern Warfare 2, that's besides the point. The amount of maps that were released in this game is the true point. We barely got any content to begin with. They already stripped one of the maps away from us. And they also had to remove a couple of other ones because they weren't accepted at first. So they had to be reworked in certain ways to get reintroduced into the game. It has been nothing but drama and problems when it comes to having variety with map selection in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And then a brand new season comes out, a season that's supposed to bring people back into the game. And the only new content they give for 6v6 is content that we had in Modern Warfare 2019, stuff we already had. Nothing new, nothing unique, nothing that's going to draw interest back to the game, just reasons to come back and camo grind. Which also leads, once again, to the point that they just lack support when it comes to 6v6. 
all of the questions, all of the complaints have just gone to deaf ears. Nobody cares over there. And it really hurts because I play other games as well. And all of these communities, all of these developers, despite if they really mess up or they do something horrible, they'll still accept their flaws and they'll communicate with us to try to improve the project. It's never that case when it comes to COD. And every year with 6v6, it gets neglected. Everything that we say that can improve the game, all of our advice, all of our feedback, like I just said, all falls on deaf ears. They don't care about anything. They stick with whatever their ideas were for that specific category, the game mode 6v6. And then obviously all of the focus gets shifted over to Warzone. Like honestly, do they really think anybody's going to come back for 6v6 when they won't even address it or even show it any respect? You know, Warzone, something goes wrong, and they're already on it. I mean, they already have put so many fixes into Warzone to make it a little bit more similar back to Warzone 1, so people will start coming back and playing it again. But they have not put in even the slightest amount of effort to make sure people come back to 6v6. Isn't that a little strange? Isn't that a little funky? Especially, like I said, when they have a pretty decent formula here with Modern Warfare 2. All they have to do is just listen to a few things of criticism from the community, and it'll be a banger. But they don't do it. They ignore everything for this, but they will jump on every tiny problem that happens in Warzone to make sure it's instantly polished off and it brings the player base back in. But that's why, in my personal opinion, Modern Warfare 2 is struggling a ton right now when it comes to player numbers and also player retention. They just aren't focusing on what they need to specifically focus on. Again, I've mentioned this a couple of times, and some of my homies on YouTube also mentioned this a couple of times, but back in the day, all these development teams focused on was campaign, multiplayer, and whatever their side mode was. Infinity Ward had Spec Ops, Treyarch had Zombies. It was as simple as that, so guess where all the focus went into? Multiplayer. Every patch, update, content drop, all went basically over to multiplayer. So it was always packed. People always had something to do. But once they started to branch out and they hit that BR formula, 6v6 just has not been the same. You know, Black Ops 4 did a good job of balancing it out. I'll be honest. You know, they did a decent job with making sure that Blackout played completely different than the, you know, the core experience that Call of Duty is always known for. But after that point, you knew that Activision saw the potential that BR truly held in the Call of Duty scene. And they pushed further and further and further until obviously, as you can see, current date. We don't even have the same amount of content that we had from the previous title, Vanguard. We couldn't even live up to the previous game's content that they had at base launch. We can't even live up to the previous content that we had back in the OG days. You know, back with Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the Black Ops games. You couldn't even match the amount of maps when it comes to those titles as well. So you really got to think about it. No matter how good or bad a game is, you're not going to stay very long if the replayability for the title isn't there. And map selection plays a huge factor when it comes to replayability, especially in an FPS title. You know, maps don't only give you different play styles, but it allows you to use different weapons. It allows you to play the game with different strategies. It allows you to basically have a unique experience every single time. Now, of course, obviously, you can change up play styles on every map. Every map, you can maybe have two, three different play styles. But when you only have a handful of maps, the experiences become more limited compared to when you have a vast majority of maps. And even though if some of the maps turn out to be bad, it still adds that variety. It still adds that replayability to your play style. There's stuff in COD that you can grind. You know, you have camos to grind. You have challenges to grind. But when all of that stuff is over, what is the core reason for you coming back to this title? It has to be fun. There has to be different experiences, enough variety that every time you hop into the experience, you basically get a different taste of the game which makes you crave more. You know, it's reasons why games like Escape from Tarkov or Insurgency Sandstorm and stuff like this are so good because they focus more on the gameplay aspect. They want the gameplay to be fun and addicting over, you know, everything else in the title, over the microtransactions, over, you know, all that nonsense. They want to make sure the gameplay is there. And that's how COD has to be. If you're not going to support 6v6, if you're not going to give 6v6 what it needs to thrive, then you can't expect anybody to stay along with your title. Even if it's, you know, a half-decent game, they still won't stay along. They'll get bored, it will become repetitive, and they'll eventually move on to a different game.
But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you almost hate it, leave a dislike. Also, for brand new and the content, don't forget to subscribe at that bell case button. Also, want to chat me this, do we do so? I have a Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, want to catch me with live streams of video games, do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.